Welcome back. In the previous video, we implemented a particle system for our gunshot. Now we want some recoil so that it looks like the gun blast has a little bit of force to it. We're going to create an animation montage for this. So in the game slash character folder slash animations, we're going to create a new animation montage. So right click and in animation, select animation montage. And we're going to need to select the Bellica skeleton. We're going to call this hip fire montage because we're going to use an animation that's firing from the hip. Now we need an animation for firing the weapon. Let's go to our Paragon Lieutenant Bellica folder and in characters, heroes, Bellica animations, search for fire. And we'll see that we have primary fire fast. We can double click on it and we'll see that it's a weapon firing animation with some recoil. That's perfect. Now we're gonna want to trim this up a little, so let's duplicate it just like we did with our jog start and stop. So primary fire fast, we can drag into our animations folder that we created and click copy here. Then in the animations folder, click the X to stop filtering by fire. And I'm gonna take primary fire fast and scrub through and we'll see that there's a whole bunch of space here at the end of the animation that we don't need. Let's rotate and zoom in a bit and we'll scrub through the animation to about here. And I'll right click and I'll trim off about frames nine to 19. So that looks good. Now we're gonna want to rename this so we know which one it is. Just like our other trimmed animations, I'm gonna add underscore trimmed to the end of the name. Now we're ready to add this animation to our montage. Let's open our montage and click on the asset browser and search for trimmed. And here we have primary fire fast trimmed. We're gonna add this animation to our montage. Now by default, we already have a montage section called default, but we want our own. We can right click up in the gray area and drag over. Now we have a section called default but we want our own montage section. So right click next to default, click new montage section, and we're gonna call this montage section start fire. Now we can drag the default section away and start fire will replace it. Then we can delete the default section by right clicking and selecting delete montage section. Now we're gonna to want to use a slot for this montage section. A slot will allow us to play animations from sections in our montage on top of the output pose in our animation blueprint. Now we can create a new section by coming down here to the bottom right where it says anim slot manager. And we can create a new slot by clicking add slot. And let's call this new slot weapon fire. Now we have a slot called weapon fire. Now right here where it says default group and we have a drop down that says slot, we can click the slot drop down, select slot name, and down here we can choose weapon fire. Now we're using the weapon fire slot for this montage. Now we need to make sure that we're using this slot in our animation blueprint. From within the montage editor, we can come up here and click on blueprint at the top right to open our animation blueprint. Let's go back all the way out to the anim graph where we have our ground locomotion state machine. Now we're gonna to want to cache this off. So drag off and type cached and select new save cached pose. We're gonna rename this cached ground locomotion. So what are we doing here exactly? Well, the ground locomotion state machine contains data about the pose for our character for any given frame but we can cache that off, which is basically to say, save that information. We use it by right clicking and typing use cached, and we'll see use cached pose cached ground locomotion. 
So we're essentially saving off the pose information, and if we wanted, we can just plug it back into output pose, and we'd have the same effect as if we had just plugged straight from ground locomotion into output pose. I'm gonna hold Alt and click to disconnect that execution wire because we're gonna take this cached pose and before we plug it into output pose, we're gonna run it through our weapon fire slot. So drag off and type slot and choose slot default slot. And with our slot node selected, up here in the details panel, we can change slot name and select weapon fire. So now this ground locomotion pose data is going through a weapon fire slot node. Now let's connect this to output pose. If we're going through the weapon fire slot node, then any animations that we play from the montage that uses the weapon fire slot will actually be incorporated into our pose data for the output pose. So now we just need to decide when to play this animation in our hip fire montage. We're gonna do that from C++. So let's go back into Visual Studio. Now we're gonna add a uAnim montage variable to shooter character. It's gonna be a private variable, and we're gonna forward declare class uAnim montage. It's gonna be a pointer, of course, and we're gonna call this hip fire montage. We want this to be edit anywhere, blueprint read write, category combat, meta allow private access true. So I'm just gonna copy the U property from muzzle flash and use it. Now for the comment, I'm gonna say montage for firing the weapon. And now in shooter character.cpp, we can go up to fire weapon. And just under everything, here's what we need to do to play an animation from a montage. First, we're gonna need our anim instance. So we're gonna create a local variable of type U anim instance. It's a pointer and I'm going to call it anim instance. We can get it from the mesh so we can use get mesh and the mesh has a function called get anim instance. Now we do need to check to make sure anim instance is valid. So if anim instance and we also need to make sure that our hip fire montage variable is valid so we can say and hip fire montage. If this check succeeds, then we can play the montage animation. And we do that from the anim instance. Anim instance has a function called montage play. So anim instance, and the function is montage underscore play. And montage play takes a u anim montage, and we're going to pass in hip fire montage. There's a whole bunch of other parameters here, but they all have default values. So we can get away with just passing in a single parameter. Now, anim instance also has a function called montage jump to section. So we can specify the section we want to jump to. So anim instance montage underscore jump to section. And it takes an F name. So we'll create an F name and the string has to be the name of the montage section. We called our montage section start fire. Now we can compile this. And back in the editor, the last thing we need to do is set our hip fire montage in shooter character BP. So go ahead and select hip fire montage, compile and save that. Now in hip fire montage, under blend option for blend in, we have this blend time and we don't want a whole lot of time to blend in. We can set this to zero. Let's go ahead and save that. And now we're ready to test. Let's click play and test this out. And we're playing that animation from our montage. And we're getting recoil with our gunshots. So this is starting to look really good. In this video, we created an anim montage in the montage, in the slot manager, we created a new slot called Weapon Fire. We also added from the asset browser a fire animation, which is a duplicate of one that came with Bellica's assets, which we trimmed off the end of. 
We gave this montage a section called Start Fire. We then went into the animation blueprint and took our ground locomotion and cached it. We took the cached pose and ran it through a slot node, selecting weapon fire for the slot, ensuring that any animations that we play from our montage using this slot will actually be incorporated into our output pose data. We then created a new private variable in shooter character called hipfire montage of type uanimmontage pointer. Then in fire weapon, we created a local variable of type uanim instance and used get mesh's get anim instance function to get the anim instance. After checking the anim instance and hipfire montage to make sure they're valid, we called the anim instance's montage play function playing our hipfire montage. And we also used montage jump to section in order to jump to our start fire section to specify that section to play from our montage. We set the hipfire montage here in the shooter character blueprint and in the montage, in the blend options, we set our blend time to zero so that we don't have too slow of a blend time when playing the montage. Excellent job. In the next video, we're gonna cover how to blend our animations so that we can play animations that only affect part of the body rather than the whole thing. That way we can run and shoot at the same time. Stay tuned, we'll see you in the next video.